Hello dudes, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can set up XRDP server on Arch Linux machines. It's quite, uh, it can be better if you want to use Windows as the client since it is the default protocol for remote control, for rem remotely controlling any machine whether it's Windows or Linux and for Linux that becomes XRDP which is free and open source uh, alternative so the packages for this thing are three there is XRDP there is XRDP dash git for development version and there is XORG XRDP if you want to use XORG XRDP instead they are all in the AUR for example if you want to use let's check this one we yeah I guess I'm gonna go with XORG XRDP since it is not beta this one is still beta but this one isn't uh, you can You can do git clone and paste this one. You run this command and then you do, you can do like this and then cd to x. This, this one in case you don't have uh, an AUR helper. And then you can do make package dash si like this, and it's gonna continue with the installation. All of this I'm not gonna continue since this is a method for you. You should continue. You put here your password and you continue. Uh, there is an alternative way which is using using the AUR helper. The AUR helper you can you have many options you can use GA you can use Paro you can use other ones there are so many in my case I'm gonna go with yay XR XRDP this way and it's gonna do the exact same thing as the one I've done now it replaces those two co those three commands the first command was uh, git clone with the link and the other one is CD to the repos uh, to the directory that was made and the third one is make package or make pkg for short for dash si for the last in for the last installation step all right it's almost install it it's not very big There is uh, some graphical acceleration options. You can also enable sound. Why here? So if you want to enable the acceleration, it depends on your GPU. If you are using uh, gonna compile I guess I need to pause for some time all right it compiled we can enable graphical acceleration with one of two packages depending on our uh, GPU this one for Intel and AMD and this one for NVIDIA I would go with this we wait for it to compile first alright so next one is this is optional you don't necessarily need it XORG XRDP Glamour since I have Intel GPU here I will use that one in case you use or you have AMD GPU it's the same 
or Intel like me if it's if it's Nvidia this should become or let me clear the screen and then yay dash big s or uppercase s xorg xrdp dash glamour in case you are using amd or intel on your computer if it's nvidia it should be like this okay i don't have nvidia here i i have intel i will run this command and i want to have sound also so we will install in case you want to do the same this is optional uh, you install this package for uh, pulse audio if you want the pipe wire instead of this package instead of this one the package should become pipe wire dash module dash xrdp dash git you choose one of these you don't install these uh, both of these you choose one of them and you install it in my case i'm gonna go with pulse audio enter enter press enter twice here Uh, something to mention here if you decided to install the package for the graphical acceleration uh, and you choose one of the two available packages it's an alternative for the plain XRDP package or XORG XRDP package for the XOR, XRDP uh, server so here it says such thing and if you want to get the graphical acceleration you press y when once you get this i'm sorry not to tell you this from the beginning because it's my first time trying to install this thing and let's install it oh yeah i guess we should remove uh x org xrdp debug this package but why but why press this one and then we run this command again enter enter all right i got the package with the graphical acceleration installed it told me also to pass a specific argument to pulse pulse audio in order to get it working so we can now add these uh, lines to this file you may need to read the wiki i will put it in the description in case of any confusion uh, let's start the server rdp i have uh, ufw as a firewall installed so i should allow the port which is 3389 you may need to configure your firewall to accept the connection through this one if it's uh, If it is uh, fire, uh, firewall D, you, sh you may run this command. I made some videos about installing firewalls on Arch. Check them. I'll put them in the description. And then the next thing is trying to connect to uh, our XRDP server you can check your IP address running this command in my case it's this one if they, there might be some extra configurations but I believe the com configurations will 
not I mean are correct in this case press Y here or yes press yes put your username password Yeah, so now we can check this one, these ones. I don't think this one is what we need here. Six in it RC. I did not get it to work. I can log in, but it fails with an error. I don't know what is the command that I can put or the line that I can put to the file dot exinit RC for Trinity desktop environment since I'm using Trinity desktop environment and uh, yeah you can see that this is the error it says something like this some problem error connecting to user session connection problem giving up it can be because I uh, did not specify anything in my Xenit RC if I do cat then I try to guess anything yeah this one I type it exec Trinity I don't know if it's correct or not so and it kind of connects the way you see it here so I don't know whether I can say that it worked somehow I don't know I will simply upload the video the way it is maybe it works for you make sure that your dot xenit rc or there is also uh, slash etc slash x11 there is xenit this one xenit rc dot d there is a file that is mentioned here this one this file it it can be something that you should check in order in order to get your xrdp on arch working anyway i'm sorry for that I will try again with it, maybe it works. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. And cheers.